There once lived an armadillo who loved music more than anything else in the world. After every rainfall, the armadillo would drag his shell over the, to the large pond filled with frogs. And he would listen to the big frogs singing back and forth to each other in the most amazing voices. Oh, thought the armadillo, how I wish I could sing. The armadillo would watch the frogs leaping and swimming in a frantic ballet. And they would call back and forth in the musical tones. He loved to listen to the music they made. He didn't understand what the words were, but the frogs were actually laughing at this funny little animal that wanted to so badly sing like a frog. The armadillo made his way back into the wilderness, and as he made his way through the trail, he heard the crickets chirp and sing as merrily as the frogs did. He sat and listened to their musical sounds for a long time and said, Oh, how I wish I could sing. The next day, as the armadillo made his way through the woods, headed to the pond to listen to the frog, he heard a chirp and then another chirp and then some whistles and then some chatters and he realized that it was the birds and their song amazed him, entranced him. He was just sitting there listening to this for the longest time and he said, oh, how I wish I could sing. Then he heard a voice coming from behind him that said, armadillos can't sing. Armadillo turned around and said, yes, I know, but I wish I could. So, you have a wish. Armadillo was stunned at first, the fact that he was looking at a fairy, but he did not hesitate. Yes, I wish I could sing. The fairy said, I can make you sing, little armadillo. You do not want to pay the price, for it may mean your death. The armadillo didn't hesitate. He said, please, please, whatever it takes, if you can make me sing, I am all for it. So the fairy said, follow me to my house. And off the two went down the trail. When they arrived at the fairy's dwellings, she began making preparations. Here, drink this, said the fairy to the armadillo. Will this make me sing? asked the armadillo. The armadillo did not hesitate. He took it in hand and drank it down. Within minutes, this elixir that he drank had made him passed out and fall fast asleep. The armadillo was fast asleep. The fairy did not perform magic or making any elixir. She broke out her tools and began surgery. The fairy had spent all night making surgical incisions and slices on this armadillo. The fairy worked day and night. Every time the armadillo would come around and open an eye, he would get another dose of elixir and go back to sleep. She meticulously did what she promised. The fairy had worked on this armadillo for over a week. And then the armadillo little eyes started to open and she gave him a little something for pain. The armadillo's ears were wide open. He was listening. He could not believe the most beautiful sound he had ever heard in his life. Here in front of him was the fairy playing a guitar that she had made out of his back shell. I can't count how many people have sacrificed themselves or something for their art. Race car drivers, test pilots, magicians, skyscraper climbers, combat specialists, alligator wrestling, and let's not forget musicians. The list of things is staggering. I could sit here and name stuff off till tomorrow. I had made a guitar long ago. And it never dawned on me to use an armadillo's back. Sure that if we all thought about it long enough, we'd think of something that we had sacrificed for something that we had loved.